From Viking halls to the cities of the future, Terrain buffs will love our foreground hub. Watch gaming tables of all genres come to life at beastsofwar.com. Anime cyberpunk style meets skirmish combat in Infinity. Experience eight high-tech factions and fight to control the human sphere at the Infinity Hub on beastsofwar.com. Hi guys, welcome back to What's in the Box. We're back for more Volsung. This time we have another of the new factions. So who is it we have? These are our Venrir agents. So, ah, so say after hello. the Great War, uh -huh. uh, the remaining uh, agents of the Venrir, the Undead Chancellor, mm -hmm. uh, Lich Chancellor, uh, spread out and uh, disappeared from the face of uh, the world. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the very uh, traces of Venrir are unknown where he is, okay. what he does, but now they started to appear in Lioness. Ah, I see. So basically this was an underground movement then. Mm. Lost the war, forced underground, we are now in hiding, and now yeah. the shadowy forces are rising once again in Lioness. So uh, first up, the first thing I want to show is this, because it's one of the very important parts of this faction. So this is actually a spawn point for your undead golems. Yeah. This is a device, it's called the Necrogolemic Workshop. Mm -hmm. So uh, the way uh, the Venrir uh, agents work uh, is uh, very different uh, from other factions in mm -hmm. that they don't uh, buy henchmen as other factions at the start of the game, mm -hmm. but instead they buy the devices. And devices have to be placed on the uh, battlefield before the game begins. So you have to plan ahead and think really hard where you want the attention during the game uh, focused on and uh, which objectives are the most important. Because for the most part, it is very likely you will not have enough devices to actually cover ho the whole board. Mm -hmm. But the good thing with this is it will constantly spawn Yes, at the start of the uh, uh, every turn, uh, it will spawn a number of models that are written in the description of the device. Exactly, which I think is just really cool because it means, you know, the the undead are rising from beneath the streets. Yes, you know, it's it's very very cool, if very you, cinematic. If you don't counteract it and let it run for one or two turns, then you are faced with an undead horde, mm -hmm. and it's really hard to deal with it. Yeah, we well, see. I like this because of the way some of the deployment rules work in Volsung. Because you, you have your standard, okay, I can deploy on my side of the table, I can deploy along an edge. You also have, I can deploy within a building, or I can choose to deploy across the entire map, but I have to be 12 inches or 6 inches away from other miniatures. Mm -hmm. This gives you great storytelling abilities, because you can start with your faction already built up within the city, and you're not having to spend turn after turn getting moved up and into position. That's a new thing we added in uh, the second edition. Oh, uh, sorry, that's not it yet. Oop. It will, sorry. Be, it will be in a moment. Yep. Uh, oh, so sorry. I, I hope it's okay to mention that on camera. It is okay. <laughs> it is something that we are proud of. Uh, this is an addition that uh, makes the game develop uh, in a good direction. Okay. Well, Especially because we, it is, you are not wasting the first turn to mm -hmm. actually close to the uh, enemy. Okay, well, guys, you heard it here first. There's a sneak peek to the new second edition rules. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, our next piece that we have is this. Now, what is this thing? This is an uh, ice field generator. Mm -hmm. uh, what it does, it is generates ice field. Mm -hmm. So this is an uh, area of uh, cold, mm -hmm. uh, which benefits undead models and hearts uh, or the living models. I see. So, in, in Volsung, I'm guessing undead like the cold. Yes, very much. Okay, so how, how does that affect them? Do they take up more armor? Are they just... Uh, you know, if they are in an ice field, uh, they may reroll one dice in each uh, roll they make. So hang on, every roll they have to take, they get a reroll. One die. One. Uh, that's fine. Uh, still one yeah. dice on every roll. On every I, roll. And then it, when you look at the zombies that have like guns of two, mm -hmm. minus one for the range, for, for, for example, for the guns. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you get one die and still I can reroll. Yeah, hey, why not? Have a go at it. If you have 20 of those. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so yeah, su suddenly the horde approaches. Yes. <laughs> OK, so. Let's move on to some of our metal minis. Now we have one big miniature in here, but I want mm -hmm. to see if his card for whenever we're actually looking at the built versions, simply because he's such a cool mini. Yeah. So, so this, this is guy. Sir Jonathan Wormwood, and in yep. the Volsung background, mm -hmm. he is actually involved in the Reaper killings. Ah, so this is 
the Volsung Jack the Ripper, is he? Uh, he is the um, chosen uh, doctor of the Queen Titania. Uh huh. And he is somehow involved in the shady dealings. And now it appears that he is in the Venerier faction. Oh dear. Well, oh he's dear. a lovely mini. He's got a big flowing cape on him. He is an, uh, an elf, mm -hmm. so he is very tall. Uh, yep. He has a small little uh, mm, pulling devices on his face. So as you can yes. see, he is actually using a very, very early version of uh, Botox. Just pulling his face ah, so you don't see, see. Uh, see his wrinkles. Yeah, he's also got a rather nice inscribed cane. And then all these la strange little weapon arms. So we have one with what appears to be a meat cleaver, mm -hmm. one with some form of injecting device, two with claws, and two with some form of, so, some form of stabbing blade. He looks like a rather nasty character. He is. He is a support character. He is a healer and he can also, uh, basically a spellcaster. Mm -hmm. uh, he can heal uh, undead models and mm -hmm. uh, also he can uh, damage uh, living models with uh, cold magic, mm -hmm. uh, cold damage. Uh, and if he kills a living model mm -hmm. with this spell, he creates an ice cream generator in place. You don't. I see. Yeah. So basically, you can imagine that the model freezes in place and he's mm -hmm. so cold that he radiates the cold. I see. Okay, that's going to make for some interesting conversions, yeah. guys. If you've done anything like that with this, post some pictures below. I want to see those. Okay. Next up, we have this little character. Now she's a very, very small little character. Mm-hmm. And she's a single piece mini, which is always nice. So, but if I can get her out the bag, so here she is, here. So this is Ursula. Uh -huh. Ursula is a helper and possibly a deceased daughter of um, Sir uh, Jonathan Wormwood. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, she is undead uh -huh. and he may, uh, basically you don't bite her as a henchman, but instead uh, Sir Jonathan Wormwood has a special rule that he can summon Ursula uh, for an action I see. if there is no Ursula in play, so you can only have uh, one uh, at of a time. Course. Now the Ursula has special abilities that allow you to draw cards or block line of sight uh, or uh, just delay. Uh, he's not uh, basically uh, to kill anybody, uh, but... Uh, so she's a, she's a handy little buff character is what we're saying here, yeah? Yes. Okay, yes. very, very cool. Uh, our next one is quite the creepy little madam. Now, this lady, you have told me, is one of the head agents of yes. the Van Rear. She is hiding in plain sight. She is uh, Elisabeth Suss, uh, Countess von Neuschwanzfels, mm -hmm. uh, and she is an ambassador to uh, Queen Titania's court uh, of Votany. Mm -hmm. So basically, Alfheim is ruled by Queen Titania. So this is the uh, country that is uh, the, the city of Lyoness is uh, mm -hmm. uh, the capital of, and Votany is mm, like the Volsung representation of the uh, uh, Bismarck Germany, I mm -hmm. would say. Uh, so she is an Urwerk. Urwerk uh, is German for clockwork. Okay. And uh, Urwerk in German is a dwarf that is so into prosthetics and uh, changing uh, mm -hmm. their limbs into right. uh, golemic prosthetics that the, at some point they uh, exchange their own heart and soul. Oh, so they're no longer... Yes. Oh. So she is not a living model. She is not an undead model. Aye. She is neither here nor there. Aye. So she so is... She's, uh, she's Schrodinger's... On Character. <laughs> yeah, she's shunned by society, or Urwerk are shunned by society, mm -hmm. aside from dwarf, even, but even dwarfs uh, don't uh, really I like the Urwerk. A little bit of it. But she's still an ambassador. Mm, so this she has is to be a listened very, to. very tricky situation uh, mm. politically. Yes, so she can't afford to be ignored. Yes. Well, what, do, what does she do in game, just while I get uh, the, the big Well, one she, she is the one that uh, really makes the necro golems shine. Mm -hmm. She is there to actually run the ne necrogolems and mill them, run them through the progr pro uh, programs and uh, buff them and operate them. Mm -hmm. Without her, the necrogolems are just a little bit overpriced or underpowered. I see. With her, whew, I'm guessing all of a sudden they wake up and go, good morning, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of the necrogolems, we have one of them here because you get one in the set. So we'll start with his main body, 
which is a very big, hulking, nasty piece of technology, you get a real sense that this thing has just been built in the deep, dark caverns and someone's been forced into it. So we, that's the main body. You've then got his two feet, which are very, very nice. You can have them either way, so claws forward or large claw forward. We have his two arms, which are really, really nice. They go into the sockets perfectly. Uh, we have his head, which is some poor unfortunate skull. We then have the reverse jointed legs, which gives this thing a real sense of inhumanity, which is quite, quite creepy. We then get on to the weapon arms. So we have this, which appears to be some kind of heavy cannon arrangement. Mm -hmm. uh, Lukash, anything to say? Well, uh, this model uh, has is armed with uh, Strungaver, uh, which is a ranged weapon with fast shot and quick, and mm -hmm. uh, melee weapon that gives him uh, gruesome damage in melee. Mm -hmm. So those two uh, uh, ranged weapons uh, both represent the Strungaver, so you can use okay. any of them, so just add some more... Yep. Uh, 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 yep, that's it. Rep uh, some difference between the models, mm -hmm. and uh, the other two represent the uh, gruesome damage. Yep. Uh, so we have this, model. which is a three circular saws all put together with a rather nasty cutting edge on them. Mm -hmm. We then have this, which actually takes these three claws onto it, mm -hmm. which makes for a very nasty stabbing and gripping weapon. You can also use those uh, leftover weapons because you can only, only use two to uh, maybe convert a security golem into your gruesome, uh, into Ooh. your necro golem. Again, one to give in the comments below, guys. I would like mm. to see pictures of that. Okay, so we've seen the miniatures on belt. Let's go away, we'll put them together, and we'll be right back after we tell you about some hubs. Keep your blaster handy. The West is a dangerous place. Fight to survive as men turn to monsters and the dead rise on the Wild West Exodus Hub at beastsofwar.com. In a world controlled by massive corporations, a steady aim and split-second decisions are needed for your Megacon to complete its goals. Begin your missions at the Mercs Hub on beastsofwar.com. Okay guys, we're back with the Van Rear and we have them built. These are fantastic. The first thing I want to show off is the Necro Golem. Look at this guy. He is huge. He's bigger than a security golem and he is a lot scarier. Now, I would like to see someone convert up a security golem with some of these weapons, but I think as a miniature, this thing is fantastic. We then have this gentleman, our Jack the Ripper yeah. of the Volsung so, world. Wormwood. Yes. The weapons on the back go in really, really well. Lovely little ball joints make them work perfectly. And just the one little bit of the hand here, which just pops right in, is absolutely perfect. The one that I had a little issue with building was this little lady here. And it wasn't the umbrella or the arm, it was these two little things at the back here, which are two little smokestacks coming out of her bustle. <laughs> so, like you said, she is mechanical, so I'm guessing there's a lot of uh, gears and cogs underneath that, uh, that dress. Yes. We then have this, which is really, really cool. I just love the look of this piece. Yeah, this is just a necro uh, sliding out, up uh, on a lift uh, mm. from the underneath. From the yeah, but it's, hidden... it's one of those lovely little cinematic moments that you love yeah. to get. And we then have our little summoned helper. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, beautiful set. So, uh, we, were, we said we were going to talk a little bit about the rules for the necro -golem. So, what exactly can these guys do in game? Because you say without the, the leader lady, they're a little overpriced, a little underpowered. When these guys are working at their best, how nasty are they? How scared should I be? Okay, so this is a golem that can I, uh, both shoot and fight in melee. Uh, it is a bit uh, weaker to uh, than security golem when you compare the stats. So mm -hmm. his armor is lower and his uh, wounds are lower, uh, but uh, he has gruesome damage. So potentially he can deal uh, more damage in melee. Uh, the, the thing that uh, does make it work is that you actually get one per turn. Yes. So if it is it if it don't die and it has hard to kill rule, mm -hmm. and then you have Sir Wormwood who can heal it. Yeah. So and uh, the War uh, Sir Wormwood's uh, spell can heal the model above the starting number of wounds. Okay, that's yeah. important to remember. Yep. So basically, Sir Worm. Uh, how how a typical turn would look with those models mm -hmm. is that you get. Do, uh, this uh, Necrogolem uh, workshop mm -hmm. and uh, the ice field we yeah. somehow had uh, somewhere, but it uh, went away. Uh, <laughs> we we must have forgot to put it yeah. down. But 
We'll just assume that there's an ice field there as well. Yep. So we have this, we have our ice field, our so, ghost ice field. So for two heroes, you mm. get a very little, uh, small number of models because mm. you only have two heroes and uh, a helper, helper that you have to spawn yeah. and uh, one model that spawns at the start of the turn. So you yeah. get four models. Mm -hmm. Now, on the second turn, you get another of those models, so you get five, and you uh, basically, at the, uh, in the uh, second turn, mm -hmm. you use Ursula for uh, card draw, mm -hmm. and then you place another one. Ah. And you can use it for card draw too, if you want, uh, in the same turn. So every time you uh, use her special ability, you draw two cards. Mm -hmm. So uh, you start with five for yeah. two heroes. Then at the se uh, in the second turn, you can have five plus four for Ursula. I see, I yes. see. And you use it, those cards both for uh, Wormwood mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Countess uh, Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, because uh, Wormwood can heal a model above his starting number of wounds. Yep. Uh, he does it by making... Uh, mm, he heals the model uh, for a number of wounds uh, for every success he makes for to cast the spell. I see. So you see. want to boost the spell with cards to create a lot of successes, mm -hmm. to actually well, boost for, over boost. For those that uh, don't know Volsung, in this game, you're using dice as well as playing cards. The playing cards can be used for multiple things, including spell casting and actually cheating the activation of miniatures. Yeah. We actually do have a, uh, a full demo game from the first gen rules. Uh, I'll put a link into the description below, so make sure and go check it out because it's a very, very good game. Uh, right, I'll tell you what, I'm looking forward to seeing these on the table. Let's move on. Guys, we'll see you in the next video. Become a general of mighty armies at the Kings of Warhub. Take command of elves, dwarves, and orcs in this game of mass fantasy combat on beastofwar.com. Enter into the dangerous dungeons of myth as a mighty hero and stand against the darkness. Visit the Myth Hub on beastofwar.com and begin your story.